Hello everyone, Queso Man Rules here, and welcome to another video tutorial. Today's video tutorial is on how to install WordPress on your website. If you've not already been to my website, it's quesomanrules.co.cc, and the link will be in the description, it is running WordPress. This is it right here. WordPress is a blogging software that allows you to um, set up your website the way you want it, like with sidebars and neat plugins and stuff like that, and add pages. But it's most known for being blogging software, which lets you uh, put posts like these right here on the page, and they have their own page too, for people to read your updates. And I like this because I like to put updates on my website about what's going on. If you're not interested in that, you might look into something like Joomla, which is like helps you use a CMS to use a re make like a regular website. But that's not what this is about, so I'm not going to go into in depth on what that is. So, um, to install WordPress on your site, there's two ways to do it. The first thing that you need to do, though, is to get a um, hosting account. I would suggest either one of two sites. You can either go to bitehost.com. This is what I'm currently using is Bitehost's uh, free, um, free hosting. You might also use 000webhost.com. This tutorial is going to be used in Bitehost since that's what I have. I've done previous tutorials on 00 web, 000 web hosts, so you probably are going to need to go and watch those if you're fi finding yourself confused. So this is going to be using Bitehost services. So make an account on there and get your information that they give you after you sign up and make sure to save that. Um, and then go into your control panel by logging in. Once you get in here, you need to go to software slash services and fantastico type installer. This is the easiest way to install WordPress using an auto installer. Um, it, what it does is it does all the dirty work for you. It just puts it right where you want you you want it to be. So choose the domain where you want it to go. I'm going to use the subdomain they gave me since I don't really generally use that. Pick what you want. We're going to be using WordPress 2.7.1. Click to install. Choose where you want to install it and click complete install. I've already done it for the purposes of this video and to save time, so I'm going to skip that part. The other way to do it is to download it and upload it manually. So you're going to need to go to wordpress.org slash download and click download wordpress 2.7.1. I've also already done that. And that is saved to my downloads folder. Oops. Right here, it comes in a zip file. And I extracted it and you'll get all this stuff in here. So just extract it to like this and upload it to where you want it to be on your site using FileZilla. Now I've already done both of these for the purposes of this. So I, on my, on my site, have these two right here. F WordPress is the Fantastico, which is auto installer install, and M WordPress is the manual install. So all I did for the Fantastico was use the way I showed you, and for the manual, all I did was upload the contents of that folder to this folder right here. So depending on which one you want to do, I'm going to show you both do the following. If you did a Fantastico install, just browse for it on your site in the, in the um, address bar up here. So wherever you installed it, mine's the root of the site, slash WordPress tutorial, slash F dash WordPress, which is what is right here. And you will get this if you did a Fantastico install. It's already set up, it's already got all that. All you need to do is log in and edit it, which I'll be showing you in a little bit on my regular site. If you did a manual install, you will get this. All you have to do is click create a configuration file. You'll get in here and it'll ask you for your database name, database username, database password, database host, and your table prefix. So just click let's go. And here it is. Okay, word database name. Now what it means by a database is you have to set up a database on your web host for this. So go to your control panel, go to control panel, databases, MySQL databases. As you can see, I have like three set up, but I'm only really using one right now. I don't know why I have those other two, but just to make a new database, just enter what you want it to be called and click create. Now you have the name. So first of all, copy the name, I'll just use like this one. Copy the name over into right here, paste it. So that's the database name. Your SQL username, password, 
are both going to be in the information that was given to you when you first signed up for the web host. That's why I said to save it. It's important. So then, I mean, you can also access it in here by going to Control Panel and I believe Account Management, and it'll tell you your information. But you need to find it in there. I saved it to a PDF file on my computer so I can access it whenever I need to. So um, enter your username and password and um, database probably need to leave that and uh, WordPress table prefix is only if you're using more than one WordPress installation in the same database so then just click submit and when you do if you entered it correctly it'll say this is all correct it's working you're done if it's not you'll need to fix it and find where you messed up um, I don't have the information for this right now because I'm just using a random database so um, there you go, so once both of these are done, you'll end up with something similar to this. Even after you've gone through those steps with a manual install, you'll end up with something kind of like this. So what you need to do is go down here to the bottom and you click Login. When you go Login on my site, I'm going to show you in my site because everything's set up in there and I don't have the information for this one again. Once you log in, just enter your information. And once you do, you'll be met by the dashboard for WordPress. So you have a couple of things going on in here. You can do everything from the sidebar. That's the way it works. Um, to add a new post, just click Add New or use the Quick Press function over here. You can um, create new pages, which if you look at my website, um, the, I have multiple pages on the nav bar up top right here about contact forum, latest video in the dream. Um, going down you can add in plugins, change the appearance of your theme, I'll be showing you how to in, uh, do a theme in just a second, tools which are just a couple of things and settings if you want to change some settings around. So let's go to appearance because we want to change a the theme because the theme that comes with it is very very basic like the one I showed you, just the blue up top. So you have, uh, see just like that, so you have these two in there already, this is the one that I'm using. Um, to add a new theme, you need to open up FileZilla and go to go to Content Themes, and then upload your theme there. You can download themes from multiple places all over the internet. People like to make them. Just Google it and find one that you like, and upload it right there into that folder. And then when you refresh this page, you'll see it available. And all you have to do is click on it; it'll make it your active theme. So that's pretty much it guys, this has been how to uh, install WordPress on your website. I realized it went a little fast, but I needed to because there's a lot to go over and not very much time. If you have any questions, you can email me at uh, quesomanrules at gmail.com, or you can uh, send me a YouTube message, you can leave it on the forum in my site, or any other way that you think you can contact me. Thank you for watching this video tutorial, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe um, to my channel and rate this video, comment if you liked it, and all that. Thank you for watching everyone, bye.